All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of your beloved America, which according to the Bible is known as Babylon, or the daughter of Babylon specifically. All right, with that being said, we're going to say blessings to the elect, all your brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity, uh, enduring this truth and sincerity, sharpening the iron, and uh, increasing the occupant. And uh, with that being said, we're going to say double honors to the apostles of GMS. Okay, and all praise to you. How about Shimmy <laughs> And uh, as you you know, we all know we already did a lesson on it, but this is a, a slight continuation of it. You know, for the masses to hear, uh, it's basically going over the um, the that that universal gay marriage in America. You know what I'm saying? Because this America is Babylon. All right, but on this tip, it's it's mainly towards our people. Because that's the main ones who jumping and raving about it, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of mine, and, the, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Yeah, that's right. They take, they take a counsel, but not of the Most High, okay? And uh, take a covering of a covering, but not in the Most High Spirit, because in the Most High, the Most High Spirit, which is the Bible, that's the covering. You will say you love the Lord, or you deal with the Most High and His Son, and you read out of the King James Bible or whatnot, or, or whatever Bible, but you believe the, the God, of, the God of um, Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You believe in that same power, but you don't cover with the same covering. All right, which, which is the Scriptures, man. All right. Rolling on down to it, okay? That they may add sin to sin. That may, they, that's why they want to do it. Because if you get into the scriptures, it's going to clearly tell you that if a man not lie with another man, that that's his abomination, he shall be surely put to death. So, basically, you want your uh, cake and eat it too. You niggas want to roam around and do what you want to do. But at the same time, you want the most high. When your house shot come back, you want him to save you. Okay, but it don't work like that. It may work like that with man, but it don't work like that with the Most High, because the Most High is the Spirit. Okay, so therefore you don't understand the Most High's judgment. All right. Go ahead. That they walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. Yeah, they walk to go down to Egypt. What is Egypt? Egypt. The modern day Egypt is America, not the Egypt going back into uh into the ancient egypt the actual land okay why do we say egypt is america because the word egypt goes back to the uh the definition goes back to the word bondage okay and, and this place is was historically known for bondage and it is still it's still known for bondage based off the social security system okay so america is a is, is basically egypt it's a place of bondage a place of slavery. Okay? Follow all the same guys. Put up uh, uh, you, 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 you the Yeah, they have obelix. They pull up the obelix. Yeah. They uh, got the pyramid on the back of the dollar. Okay? If America is America and they're a standalone nation, why do you got an Egyptian pyramid on the back of your dollar? You know what I'm saying? Why do you have Roman pillars all over the place? Because you're, you ain't nothing but a, uh, a leech towards society. But the main leech who you leech off is the, is the main three is Rome, Babylon, and Egypt. You know? And Sodom and Gomorrah is just a, uh, the, the uh, dessert. You know? Like yeah. You said that Egypt yeah. 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 Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord, the Most High, thy God, or thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yeah, Egypt is known as the house of bondage. All right? And that's that's what America is, is a house of bondage. All right? It may not be a house of bondage for the rich elite, but it it is for the lower class, even the so-called white man that's of the lower class. But it's really, the house of bondage is really intended for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? We're the ones that's really, we're the ones that are at the bottom, okay? And the Most High, 
And the Most High is the only one that's going to bring them out, bring us out. And the so-called white man is going to try his best to make sure that uh, he can stop that, but he can't. Okay, that's a known fact. Yeah, right. uh, uh, if I can say something, even if, when you go into the word uh, Egypt, it goes to the Hebrew word matazawar, which means siege. You know what I'm saying? So what happens during siege is like, you know, pretty much bondage. Or, or how it's going to be in, in the near future is going to be um, uh, martial law. You know what I'm saying? It says, verse 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and had not asked at my mouth. Yeah, that's right. The Most High did not approve for our people to live among uh, in, the, in, the, in the American way. The Most High did not approve of our people being homosexuals. Okay, or, or encouraging loss. Because America has its own agenda. They may uh, front and tell you that it's for freedom. But like I said the other day, that the same thing that they're sitting there saying, they, they, they give homosexuals rights, but hey, Jake, our people are still getting shot down, right? You know what I'm saying? You got a real problem at hand. The homosexuals ain't getting shot down. Our people are getting shot down. But what our people are clapping and flipping for, okay? For, for uh, homosexual rights and sodomitish rights. All right? And that's against the Bible. Okay? That's clearly against the Bible. Cold cut. But you jumping and praising it, man. That's an embarrassment. Okay? This is uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, uh, verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us. Yeah, that's another, that's a, uh, that, that ain't nothing but a reincarnation. We ain't doing nothing but reenacting that situation that this uh, precept the brothers um, pulling out. It's because there's our, peop there's our people that are saying, because if you say anything against gay rights and homosexual rights, people look at you crazy. That's the same people saying, let's go and make a covenant with the heathen. Because if you speak out against it, like if you watch the news and you uh, are, are you're on World Star or whatever, and you see a celebrity saying the, the celebrity comes out and speaks about the gay agenda, you know for a fact he ain't speaking down on it. Cause if he do, he's gonna lose whatever job he has, man. So uh, how much freedom is that? That you're not able to express your free opinion. You know, America has a gay agenda. It has a, a communist agenda. Okay, whether they front it or not, it's what the results are. They may say you can live the American dream. No, you got to be a certain way. Okay, you got to act a certain way in order to succeed in America, man. And at the end of the day, it's basically being a demon, man. Okay? Remember, uh, Roy Hibbert, he said pause. And they got on him for that. Yeah, he got on him for that. And in fact, y'all said uh, uh, homosexuals are abomination. Then he turns around, he had to retract the statement. You know? They back up real quick once everybody starts getting on them. Yeah, yeah. So it, it ain't about freedom, it's about the so called white man's agenda, man. You know, not only do it thou wilt, but it's it's uniting everything from sex to race. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. Uh sex, race, uh religion. Yeah, religion. Okay. Uh finances. Okay, they're trying to unite all that, man. And ultimately, it's going to lead toward the one world government, man. And what people say, oh, just, just let them, you know what I'm saying? Let them do what they're going to do. Let, let, let it happen. Let it be. What you, what you mean, let it be? You're not supposed to let nothing like that be. Okay? You got to speak out and you got to stand for something, man. Our people don't want to stand for nothing because you're scared of the repercussions of the so-called white man. Okay? But then you like to praise... Which we don't give a damn about, but you like to praise Martin Luther King's and Malcolm X's, okay? Uh, and uh, what's the Native American guy? Um, uh, they, uh, they took his head, man. You know what I'm saying? But they praise these uh people that they uprose in rebellions, the uh the Tea Party, okay? But then when 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 it's time when when it's your turn for rebellion and your turn for to getting that the social uh things in order what you do you uh you, you just shut your mouth and just let it let it happen ass nigga man you know 
here it is. You got the Boston, you know, the uh, Baltimore riots and all that, man. Half you got your mom out there slapping you on the head, trying to get you from going out there, man. That's some old coon shit, man. And you ain't even, and you, and the crazy thing is, you're not even doubting yourself. You're not even in shame for doing that. Okay? Just like I was talking about this other movie where I seen in the scene where they had the old boy, when, when they had the whole black family um, hacked up by the, these two Edomites, and it was full-blown racist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, it was a funny-ass scene. Oh, uh, yeah, Geronimo. It was a funny-ass scene with uh, oh, uh, Samuel, not Samuel. <laughs> Danny Glover. Danny Glover. <laughs> he was trying to persuade him into, he was trying to negotiate with him, and the, and the Edomite woman was like, don't let him nigger you, you know? Like, I, like, I was I was dying laughing. I'm like, that's the first, you know, that's some racist shit. You know, that, you made a whole turn into the word nigga. Don't let him, don't let him nigga you, you know? But at the end of the day, there has a Jake, the young buck Jake, that was ready to, he was ready for war, man. And when he tried to get the upper hand on them Edomites, before he actually got in a position to put the knife behind a woman's neck, uh, the, Ed, the, the Jake sister yells out, oh, she, he, uh, he has a knife. And then, and then the young buck ended up getting shot by, by uh, Esau, man. Yeah. And she talking about what you want me to do. I gotta take, I gotta make sure my kids are okay. So that story is a, is an example. That's like in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Segwaying in both ways, from slavery, man. Okay, from from financial, aid, uh, not financial aid, uh, social security and um, section eight and food stamps. Talking about you gotta take care of your kids. Well, just send your kids to the dad. If he gonna pay for everything, you might as well just give it to him. According to the Bible, that's why I say you run to Egypt, because according to the Bible, you, when you get a divorce, you're supposed to give everything to the man, and you're gonna leave the world on your own, okay? But you you run to Egypt because Egypt gives you power. Women don't have the honor to say, you know what? No, I don't want all that because that's against the Bible, okay? Y'all not gonna sit there and say no. I'm not gonna vote for gay rights or not even blatantly stand out and say it because they say that's against the Bible because society is not going to like you, man. Okay? It's going to be hard for you to get a job. You know, here it is. I was I was at my job and, and we sitting there in, in the class doing a little training session and um, you know, we got this, this these Edomites, they're clearly with us. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they're talking, that, yeah, yeah, I don't like Hispanics and I don't like the Gospel Channel. I hate the Gospel Channel and this and that. You can freely say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, if I say I don't like the gay channel, you know what I'm saying? They got, to, you know, they got to have some type of gay channel. I don't like that gay channel, like, and they're like, what's wrong with, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, you can't, you can't come out and say nothing like, uh, at that, but they can come out and disrespect the Most High in the Scriptures, okay? Y'all can sit here, shoot up the Bible. You can talk down on the Bible, but we can't openly talk down on on uh, the American agenda, which is homosexual rights. We can't talk about war, okay? We can't talk about how they're bombing innocent people and all other kind of bullshit, man. You know why? Because America is protecting itself. It ain't about freedom. It's about their agenda. The one world, the one world order, man. The new world order, okay? Uh, Isaiah 5 and 20, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Yeah, and that's America down to a T. You call, you call fucking another man or, or sword fighting or, or a woman laying with another woman, you call that good, you call that love. That's not love, that's self-hate. But you call us, what we're doing. You call us what we're doing, you, you say that's self-hate. You know? What we're doing that is good is, is, is reproving our people and correcting our people's ways, all right? Y'all call that self-hate. But then when you when you see a, a flaming faggot out here, you know, male, male or female, y'all call that love. Ain't that love? That's, that's not love. That's not love for life. Life is when you see a plant and it's choking itself and it eventually will not, not grow to be anything, you know, uh, or you see a... Another thing, like it's like uh, pruning a tree. You gotta cut that tree up. You know what I'm saying? That's that's basically damaging it, damaging it, damaging it 
to make it better. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we're doing. But y'all saying why? Why? Basically, we're pruning the tree, we're trimming the edges. You know what I'm saying? To make sure it grow right. Y'all saying y'all? Oh, you you practicing hate? You practicing hate toward a tree? Like when well, our ultimate goal is to make it grow better. Y'all just want the tree to grow everywhere. The branches eventually gonna get rolled over by a tree, or or, or a wire gonna get in the way, and, and the whole tree will die, man. Okay. You know, hey, guess what? The Most High prune, is pruning us. He prunes us, man. It, it's uh, another word for prune is to purge. You know. That, oh, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Go ahead. Uh, back in the verse of First Maccabees, um, chapter one, verse eleven. In those days, went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us." For since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. Yeah, that's in the time of uh, the Maccabees, which was like a little bit after the time of King Alexander, or uh, Alexander the Great. What was happening is that that was, that was basically the rise of the so-called white man. You know, starting from the, the uh, returning rise, which started with uh, Alexander the Great. And then it went over to Antiochus, the Ptolemies, the Seleucids, uh, that, uh, I believe it's Cassandra. I messed, I messed the other one up. Who is it? Cassandra? Yeah, uh, Lysimachus. Um, verse 12. So this device pleased them well. Uh, then certain of the people were so for the herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen of the heathen. Yeah, they they were so forward. You niggas are so y'all got your head so far up America's ass as applying it to this time, your head so far up America's ass, you went to the White House while I was painted, you know, uh uh in a rainbow fashion. Or you gonna go to court, you know what I'm saying? And, and get your and get your certificate. You ain't even gay, so to speak, hypothetically. You would go get a license just to, just to support it, you know. They uh, they lit up the uh, the Empire State Building too in the rainbow. Yeah. The yeah, big rainbow dick in the middle of New York City. <laughs> rainbow deal though. Yeah, because the Empire State Building is a phallic symbol pretty much. <clears throat> Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen. Yeah, gay bars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just, hey, uh, Independence Day, that's turned to a big old faggot frenzy, man. Ain't, that, I can't say it ain't about America because that is America. America's all about homosexuality at this point, man. Okay, they're, they're breeding that. Okay, this country is, is going to shits. Okay, and that, you know where that starts from? Letting people do what they want, having no foundation. Okay. Okay. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 2 that want to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth yeah. to, go ahead. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and the trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, uh, and Egypt is America. Alright? There's many things our people do to trust in the shadows of Egypt. Alright? Every law that's passed in America if it ain't according to the Bible, you're not supposed to be with it. But here it is. Our people get the opportunity um, from the homosexual rights, the gay rights, uh, to, to women's liberation. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the thing that's... The thing that's uh, ironic is that the men ain't stepping up and saying nothing, man. Okay? Y'all just sitting there saying, you know, let them... That's, if they won't do that, let them do it, but bye bye whoever. You know what I'm saying? Don't come by me. Yeah, as long as they'll come by me with all that, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a coward's agenda, man. Like I said, you had your Martin Luther Kings, your Malcolm X's, they ain't